let's talk about mutable and immutable infrastructure before we go ahead and discuss about packer because we need to understand where exactly this packer can be used when you're talking about infrastructure right so just to demonstrate this mutable and immutable infrastructure let's take an example you have one linux server the os v1.0 is mentioned here now so just treat this as one linux server and on top of it i have installed one of the uh, nginx web server let's say right nginx web server is installed around 2019 now this is in production for a long time and business has decided to upgrade this to latest version so what options you have what you will do normally you will raise a crq right you will raise a crq and prepare some install plan and prepare from some backout plan as well part of the change implementation and try and download the latest version and install on top of the existing system and upgrade it as a prerequisite what you will do you will take a snapshot of this machine right and do the upgrade once the upgrade is done everything is good customer confirm that the application is up and running and you will treat that as upgrade is successful then you can ignore the snapshot right or you can delete the snapshot either it's a traditional on-premise or it's a cloud fund is same agree so when it comes to immutable image mutable means keep on changing the versions when it comes to immutable let's say same Linux server and same Nginx is running from 2019 now business has decided to upgrade the version in that case what we will do we will create a new machine and install the new image that means latest 1.1 image and let's get trigger into the production let's get this machine into production and ask customer to see if it is working well on the latest version okay then we'll, we need to deal with how we get this historical data from legacy version to latest version that is also part of the immutable infrastructure creation that we will deal with separately by scripting or by puppet or chef integrated tool automation that we need to consider that's a different story but what happens existing system you can directly decommission it or destroy it and your your application or your business will run with latest image this is one difference between your mutable and immutable infrastructure okay let's say if you are in a development area okay if you are in a development area and your sprint release is every two weeks so every two weeks means development team is working on some of the development modules and you're planning for sprint release on every second saturday so what you can do let's say i have a linux server and some custom application and you developed code on top of it consolidatedly created one image in in july first week and then again in july third week what you will do you don't want to touch this so again you will create new server same application but this time you integrate with your newly developed sprint code part of the release you, you got the new code you embedded this into this and create as a second image so version 0 version 1.1 ask your users to test it deploy this image and test it see how it works right in this situation is also we can use packer to automate the images just for your production releases right so what is this packer how it will function and what all the things that we need to consider while using the packer this we will discuss in the next video